thing you want to do is make sure your wig is flat. What I normally do is braid my hair down. I have on a wig cap. I like to use the nude color wig cap. This is going to also give you that scalp look. So your hair underneath should be flat. There's no lumps, no bumps. As far as fit, you wanna make sure you are cutting the lace around the ear area very well. Um, so you wanna make sure you cut off all the extra lace. Any extra lace is gonna hang over top of your ear. And also you want the lace color to match your complexion. This color is a light brown. It matches my complexion very well. This is important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away the extra lace. If you don't want your lace to end up darker than what you need it to be for your complexion, you can take a little bit of foundation powder or you can do my last method that I shared with you all on how to change the knot and lace color. I will pop that video out right here. Go ahead and add my foundation color to the inside of the lace and I have not bleached the knots on this wig. So I have not done anything to this wig and as you can see already the lace color matches very well. Lace color is very important when choosing your wig. And also the knot color is very important too because just like I talked about in my last video, if your knots are too dark, it's going to alter the way the lace look if it's not matching the lace. So try out the tips in my last video. Like hair texture is very important when it comes to choosing your wig. While a lot of people can rock a variety of different textures, if you get the wrong texture, your wig is not gonna look natural, it's gonna look wiggy. So this texture is a curly texture in between curly and wavy. Um, so this texture I feel like can suit a lot of people just because it's that in-between texture. If we're getting this technical, the hair color also can play a big part in that too. And as you can see, you can brush it out and this is as frizzy as it would get. Styling your wig is going to also make it look a little bit more presentable. Help it suit your facial features. I am gonna style this wig in this video, so we'll talk about that in a second later in the video. Um, for now, let's go ahead and move to the application and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. Wig application is everything, not only just for the whole, but for the visibility of how natural the hairline is going to look. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose what type of adhesive I'm going to use. Now you can use a wig based adhesive. This is made specifically for lace wigs, or you can use hairsprays or gels, which gives a day-to-day -day hold or a two to three day hold. For today's video, I will be using the Bedhead Hard Hold Spray. This is my go-to spray because it's so simple, so beginner friendly, you don't have to worry about drying times. It's so simple to use. Any hairspray is simple to use, by the way. As you can see, you can still see my wig cap. That will disappear. You wanna make sure that your ear tab areas are lined up where it's falling right in front of your ear, and then you have this area around the ear where you can actually see your ear. Of course, you want to use your blow dryer to dry it and make sure you are holding the lace and pressing it. Once you have your wig glued down, this is not the final step. Unless you want your wig to look like this and this ain't it, honey. So now to get that hairline to look more natural, you want to tweeze, you want to separate your baby hairs from the rest of the hair. Okay, so once you parted away the hair, you want to separate the hair with the hot comb, a hot comb is a must, okay? It's a must have. And then I'm going to begin tweezing out a lot of hairs around this hairline. And if you think this is too much work or if you think wigs are disgusting, I thank you for watching anyways because, you know, you can learn something that you may need later on in life. 
Make sure to clean up any residue that you have around your hairline from the glue, the hairspray, or the gel. But as you can see, the hairline is coming along very well compared to when we first started. Now, as you can see, the hairspray visibility is not there. This is important. You don't want that. Once you have that done, all the tweezing and everything done now, it's time to style the wig because we are not done yet. Okay, stop rushing the process. All right, so I'm gonna set my parting on the side. And you get a good amount of parting with this wig. Oh, it's a 360 wig, so you get a good amount of parting space. You can take this part all the way back here, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it basic. So styling the hair, this is important. Don't just throw your wig on your head. You definitely want to style it. Find you a magazine, find you some type of inspiration. It could be this video, one of my old videos, whatever. Find you something that's inspiring and recreate a style. Girl, you see that, right? Okay, and of course you want to tie down your hairline before you start styling. That way you won't have any lifting. This is how your wig should look when you get done doing all the steps that I showed you in today's video. To me, it's very simple. Comment below and let me know. Do this look like my hair? like it do tell me what you think I mean let's debate it out down in the comment section Just check the description box I will put all the information for this wig in the description box every product that I use will be also linked down there and I know some of the links may not work I will try to update them subscribe if you're new to my channel give this video a thumbs up and I will see you back in my next video